Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, just got my newest shipment, and I did get these two as well. And it is not need this, so yeah, that was very nice. And so, let's do this. We're doing your, I mean, your saw the title. I don't even know why I try to make it exciting when obviously, hell, that's the only reason you're clicking on here. So, how about I stop wasting your time? And hey, yeah, let's actually get through this. So apparently I did hear from some people that the pull rates on this are not too generous, so uh, that kind of sucks. Hopefully we can do good. Hopefully, hey, hopefully it doesn't go too bad. Obviously we're going for Darth Vader. You already know. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Had to uh, cough her. Rather get it out of the way now before uh, halfway in the video. Doing this very small box. I like the look of it. Very simplistic. All right, let's go. Well, these are thick packs, by the way. Oh, 16. Oh, my goodness. That's one of the larger ones. I'm so used to the 12 number. This reminds me a lot of, I don't know if you guys know, probably a bit of, of a random one, but flesh and blood packs. A lot. It's actually kind of the, I think it's probably the same material, whatever it is. Huh, very interesting. So let's do these. Of course, we already have sideways cards. Let's go. So we have hand solo rare. Oh, are these all? Oh, I was gonna say, are these all sideways cards? Uh, did we just? <laughs> what the? Okay, we're starting off rough. Uh, my first pack was backwards. Okay, that uh, happens. It's a new game, Capital City. That's a rough, that's a rough start though. I am not gonna lie. All right, keep fighting. We got a common alliance dispatcher, cargo juggernaut, spec force soldier. Steadfast Battalion, what the hell? First pack and we're already up to the shenanigans. Oh my goodness. Cantina Bouncer, General Tage, Carablast, nice, that's a cool one. Wolf, and, oh, this one, actually, they actually did this one right, okay. And we have, oh, what is this? So this is the foil, okay, so this is one of those games where every single card, I'm guessing, if you just get a random uncommon. Kind of like Magic, where all the cards can be foil, okay. I think that's cool. Let's do this. Hopefully, <laughs> not all the packs are backwards. I mean, what the hell? It's going to be messy as hell to open them. All right, let's do this. So we start off with, oh, what the hell? We got Diego Luna. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Cassian Andor. I just know him as Diego Luna. We got Dead Trooper, Cantina, Vanguard. So yeah, Star Wars. I'm very surprised because I knew there was a Star Wars TCG. Like back, I think it was called Destiny. So when I saw they were rebooting it, I was very, very surprised. What is this? Wait, what does this look like? That? Oh, very weird. Battlefield Marine with a very, very weird background. Actually, yeah, I think it looks kind of nice. It's like borderless though. I'll put it on the side just in case. No good. Good. <laughs> good hand solo. What the hell? That thing was so, so crazy. When you actually see it for the first time. I know nowadays it probably looks a little goofy, but... Hey, when it first came out, it was pretty sick. Bombing run and tactical advantage. So, so far, nothing too crazy. I think we just got in one, two, four rares. Do you get two rares per pack, it seems? And then I got this card, the weird common, which hopefully it's not one of those cases where, like flesh and blood, you get like a special type of foiling and it's only one or two per box, I think, actually. So, but it can be a common. So that's like a catch. Uh, we got Jin. We got Kestro City, we got Jetta. So you're actually not guaranteed two rares per pack, by the way, I just proved that the first one wasn't a rare. So you're actually only guaranteed, I think, one rare per pack. Okay, that's good to know. Restock, Mining Guild, Outer Rim. Oh, what the, we got, what the hell is this? <laughs> I am so not used to the, I know that a lot of people probably prefer the cartoons to the actual movies but me personally i grew up with the movies so i'm always gonna be more much much more uh bad or biased towards the the movie so i wish they could do it but i get it i mean it'd probably be a, such a pain to do let me move this back a little bit because i think we're a little bit too too tight here okay just got a message let me check real quick are we good just want to make sure Something important. Oh, another one. Well, it is a common, so it makes sense. Jin, Echo Base. What the hell is this? Super Laser, Cloud City, 
But yeah, what are you guys feeling about this game? Are you guys hopefully thinking this is gonna do better than the previous one? I mean, obviously everyone, I'm guessing, is gonna be optimistic. But honestly, I'm just excited to see some Star Wars cards, man. Honestly, I know Star Wars recently has been. I know I've been getting a lot of stuff, but I know it's been a bit controversial. A bunch of people are saying like, "Oh, all the new stuff sucks. Uh, all the movies suck. All the new ones." And don't get me wrong, I'm not the biggest fan of the Last Jedi personally, but I just, and the last one I think it was the Rise of the Skywalker. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of. But yeah, I do think they do have some redeeming qualities. I don't think they're like you know total trash, anything like that. What the hell is this? Oh no, <laughs> a comma. Hopefully, it's not one of those cases because uh, that sucks if that's the case. If I just got a comma in uh, one of those special foil comments, because I'm pretty sure if it's like flesh and blood, at least. Okay, so yeah, I don't think these are special. I think the foil version is the special one. Oh no, that sucks. Oh, we got a legendary. What? First legendary. Okay. Let's do this. We'll not clean this up. We got our first legendary. It's going to be home one. Very, very nice. Look at that. All the little X wings right next to it. Look at that. Like it. I'm not happy about that, <laughs> that uh, foil common, but uh, hey, what do you do? You can't win them all. Hopefully, you can win more than one because uh, that would suck if it's just one. We got Director Krennic, Keystro City, Key Fighting. Hey, at least all my packs are fine now. At least <laughs> that first pack was. Uh, it probably had a legendary dark hyperspace dive rate. I think that was the rarity. I think the highest rarity. So maybe they uh they swapped it out. No, I'm just kidding. But look at that. How is this not a legendary one though? You would expect it, huh? I guess you could only do so many. Especially for the first set. Uh, you have to show uh some. Not a lot, but some. Sorry about that. There you go. Hopefully it's a bit better for you guys. You have to show some, some restriction. You can't put everything. You can't put all the big guns right away, you know? That would kill everything. Oh, sorry. Just got an email from PlayStation. I was scared. Oh, what the hell is this? No way, dude. <laughs> I think this is one of those. Uh... Does he have a back? Oh, yeah. I think this is one of those uh, showcase cards. Oh man, dude, I am not gonna lie, I'm so sorry about the lower energy. I honestly I just haven't been feeling it too much today. I I usually don't try to let it come into my videos, but what the hell? Oh man, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna record this to honestly or not. I was just gonna open it by myself, but I was like, dude, I wanna show it to you guys at least you know, at least one box. Oh my goodness. Well now I have to upload it. God damn it. Okay, I'll try to uplift it, but we got General Admiral Thrawn very very nice i think it's called a showcase card so that's what it looks like there you go because you're curious hey now you know and it's just a rare that's very interesting so they upgraded do i have my sleep do i seriously not have my sleep oh my god uh yeah i don't know okay well, we're, we'll deal with it right now whatever you know what this box whatever you can <laughs> you can pretty much troll me all you want now i am i am all yours now that's crazy, dude. I think I was reading that those are actually not even guaranteed per case. Hey, let's go. We got our Darby. I don't even care. This is not even... Dude, it's an uncommon. I'm more excited than for my legendaries. That is so sad. Oh, my goodness. Dude, I love the design of the Sid so much. I swear. They always go so hard. Dark Maul. This one. General Beavis. That always looks so cool. It's like, why, why do they make the villains look so cool if you don't want us to join them? <laughs> like, come on, man. That's crazy though. Showcase cards, yeah, like I said, they're not even guaranteed per case, which is usually how it works for games that have, what's it called? The, oh, another backward. See, when you get, I know that a lot of people say like, oh, if you get a, because in Pokemon, that's pretty a pretty popular way to tell if someone tam tamper with your box. Apparently, like if the packs are backwards, but I'm not going to lie. One time it happened to me, I got my backwards packs. And that's how I pulled the Obsidian Flames uh, Charizard, the special illustration rare. So I'm not going to lie. It may not be so bad. Sorry about that. I got a call. But anyways, yeah. So it might not be the end of the world if you see a backwards pack. It's okay. You know, it, in this case, I understand. It is the first set. So 
obviously some quality control issues are gonna occur so it's all good yeah i'm very excited to see how this game takes off i mean it is a star wars game so obviously it does have the you know influential cloud already that helps it a lot versus other games that have to start from the ground but i mean obviously that the fact that it is a, a second star wars game from a not so distant uh <laughs> that's funny from a not so distant uh what's it called years ago game because destiny didn't die that long ago actually if you look into it it actually is not that old it's not like a, oh it's a 1990s game like when everyone was doing a cash grab like it's actually fairly recent but so obviously some stores i'm guessing are gonna be kind of hesitant but i think the fact that it's star wars i think the fact that there's obviously gonna be an interest for it there seems to be a healthy interest for it like boxes seem to be selling well oh speaking of look at that shit all right i'll be right back i'm getting another call Sorry about that. I again, I got a call. But anyways, speaking of, look at this. We can actually do a perfect one-to-one -one comparison. Let's go. Very okay. Very easy to tell. That's good. They actually remind me a lot of Enchanted. If you play Lorcana, like that kind of like same, like very very like, I don't know, like rainbowy feel like. Obviously not color, but like just dream like. I don't know. It's kind of weird to explain. <laughs> oh, what the hell is this my first yoda card and it's just a common it's not even related to yoda <laughs> it's not even supposed to be actually focused out around him what the? that's so sad but like i said hey you gotta show some restriction in your first one you can't just put all oh, here's darth vader legendary here's yoda legendary here's uh darth maul legendary here's obi-wan legendary here's luke skywalker here's you know like all the big guns you, you gotta show uh some moderation so hey i appreciate that Obviously, hey, I mean, obviously, you can, you got to have some of the big guns, but you can't have them all, is what I'm trying to say. So, hey. Very excited to see what the second set it turns out to be. And yeah, no, like I was saying, I do think the game has, just in general, a lot of potential. Just because of what it is, that property. And, I mean, obviously, hopefully, they learn from the lessons. I don't even know if it's the same company. I don't think so. But hopefully they can learn the lessons from the previous game, which obviously if you played it, obviously you'll be more familiar. I personally did not, so I can't really talk too much about it and I won't. But the reality is TCGs just in general are very volatile. I think I read somewhere that most TCGs don't even make it past their ninth set or something like that or eighth. So give or take two years. Most TCGs don't even make it past two years. So that's just kind of a grooming statistic if you think about it. But hey, I'm kind of hopeful for this one. Obviously, again, they learned their lesson. It's a valuable IP, so hey, we have a lot to do. <laughs> Let's just say that. Because obviously, this is still not being sold on like big box and all that stuff. Like Lorcana was immediately, so very, very interesting, just to say the least. But hey, um, I'll be here. I'm very interested in it. And hell, if you're treating me like this. I'll definitely keep coming back now. I'm just kidding, but <laughs> obviously you can't expect that. I mean, hey, that was the that was that uh, first box log. I don't know. Usually, for when I open a TCG for the first time, either it goes like shit, or it goes in absolutely insane, kind of like right now. But speaking of that, have I only gotten one legendary? What the? Hell? I gotta get some more. System patrol, Camarillo guards. But yeah, personally, like I was talking about a bit earlier. I know Star Wars much more so because of the movies. I know that they have a bunch of cartoons. Oh, what the hell? That, that, that's what I'm saying. How <laughs> how are you going to show the Death Star, but it's not centered around the Death Star? What? That's so weird. I grew up with the movies mostly, and I know you're going to crucify me for this, but I really, really like the original trilogies. I know a bunch of people hate them, but I, I really like the three specifically. I know three was probably the best one of the three, like generally speaking, received. But, you know, when, when I grew up and I saw the criticism towards it, I, I kind of had to accept some of it, but <laughs> I don't care. I still enjoy them. But the first one, yeah, you know what? It is one of those that it's a pretty, it's a pretty rough watching, but I don't know. I still enjoy them, you know, it's, but the newer ones, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's one of those things that I try to give it a chance. I try to, I watched all of them. I did watch seven, eight and nine pretty much on theaters, I think. And I don't know. They just weren't hitting for me. Like, I like some of the characters. I like Kylo, for example. But 
I just don't feel like they were as memorable. They didn't have as many memorable moments. Like, hell, I can't even barely remember. Like, the only scene I can't remember from The Last Jedi, or from The Last Jedi, is Luke sucking on that alien's, like, for milk. That's insane. <laughs> and then from the ninth one, they did have a cool visual when they were fighting on top, like, I forgot what ship it was, but, like, Kylo and Rey were fighting, like, on top of ship. I thought that was pretty cool. And then the one interesting villain that you introduced other than Kylo, the, what's it called, Snork or something like that? You kill him. <laughs> just like that. Like, what the fuck? I don't know, man. It's, uh, I feel like they just didn't establish as many memorable villains. I mean, hell, they ended up resorting to Palpatine at the end of the day. They, did they explain it? No, I mean, that's a meme on its own. Somehow Palpatine returned. But... Uh, just a lot of issues with it. Again, I did enjoy them for what they were. Inter it's an entertainment movie. I mean, hey, I watched it. I lost two hours. I mean, I didn't mind. It was I was entertained, but I just I just expect more, you know, from Star Wars. Hopefully, I mean, apparently they're doing a new movie. I don't know. I I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Disney at this point. And I'm very surprised actually that they haven't released a new one, but. I'm guessing once they do, they'll commit to a trilogy again. That's usually, I mean, how Star Wars works. So I'm very excited to see who's going to direct, who's going to make it. I mean, you know, all the details because they better not fuck this up. <laughs> That's all I got to say. But I mean, apparently the series are pretty good. I personally haven't watched them, but apparently those usually do pretty good. And that's the thing. Star Wars has such a rich world. Like, when you do single stories, they usually are so good. Like, Rogue One, I really, really enjoyed one. And it's like one of the newer movies, and I actually really enjoyed it. Like, it had a good, memorable cast. It had an enjoyable plot. It had <laughs> Darth Vader. But nah, I'm just kidding. You know, it doesn't need to have Darth Vader. It's okay. But it's just nice, you know, that you show that you can actually have a modern Star Wars. What the hell? Oh, I thought it was a legendary. I was going to say, whoa. But, you know, it's just an uncommon. You can have a modern Star Wars movie that is actually good. So, I know there's hope. I know there's a way. But, hey. We just got to hold out, I guess. But yeah, the series, I don't know. Do you guys recommend watching it? I know that Andor is apparently super good. I think that's the one they're doing still. And the animated series, I know they have like three. So I know a lot of people like the Clone Wars one. Personally, when I was a kid, it actually was airing. But I don't know. I just never really watched it. Like I, I would watch commercials for it, but I never really personally gave it a chance. Hey, we got land. Let's, let's go. Okay. Just a rare Damn, that's so insulting. <laughs> like I said, you gotta show restriction. You can't, you can't make everyone a legendary. I actually wonder if the next one, because obviously this is mainly gonna be focused. It's actually a lot of, yeah, mainly on the original ones, huh? Yeah. So I'm actually expecting the next one to probably focus on the prequels. So I'll be very interesting. I can't wait for that uh, general Grievous showcase card. Probably one of my favorite design wise, like. Of uh, the sits, because obviously most of the sits are just like dudes with capes, which don't get me wrong, is cool. But when they start doing like more, you know, like edgy, I know it's just edgy for being edgy, like all the spikes and stuff. But yeah, I think it looks cool. Like Darth Maul, obviously, is probably one of the bigger examples of that. Obviously, all the you know, even Kylo Ren, one of the newer ones. I think his design is still pretty cool. Like when he has his helmet on and everything. Obviously. The whole point is that it's like a Darth Vader ripoff, so that's the whole idea. Yeah, very excited to see about the future of Star Wars. Obviously, it's always going to have a future. It's a huge franchise. I mean, there's literally no doubt about it. It's, it's a matter of when, not of if. So, very excited about that. What are you guys thinking? The next three movies are going to be announced sooner rather than later, or do you guys think they're going to wait? Wait it out a bit until they milk the superhero genre dry. <laughs> They're like, oh shit, we can't milk this anymore. We gotta, we gotta start rolling Star Wars now. Cause uh, right now they're going crazy with Marvel, man. It's like they're going with a no tomorrow. Like they finding a character. If you don't have a movie, they're making a movie of it. Like who the fuck is Echo? <laughs> what? A movie or a series, man? You're getting a series, but it's crazy out here. So I, I'm very, very expecting them to pull out that uh, Star Wars movie or something soon. Because, hey, they can't keep getting away with this. Excited, all right. But yeah, we're in the final three packs. Yes, right? Yes. So it's actually back to the game. So I don't know. Do you guys think it has potential? I think this company, 
does have some experience in board games or I don't know if TCU specifically, but like I said, I don't know if it's the same company that made the first one. So I don't want to assume that if it is, then, I mean, that's kind of an interesting choice, but I would hope that they learn from their mistakes of the previous game and they can obviously apply it to this one. And hey, at the, again, at the end of the day, I mean, everyone wants the game to succeed, right? I mean, who doesn't? So hopefully they can take whatever steps they need to in order to ensure that obviously that it means supporting your LGS, supporting the availability, accessibility, which they seem to have done an amazing job. The boxes are, I think, are holding at like 95, which is pretty close to MSRP, I believe. So, hey, I think that's great. It's obviously not a Lorcana situation where everyone went crazy for it because it was the first Disney TCG and everyone went ballistic and the boxes started going, what, for like 400 at one point? So I don't think that's going to be an issue, which obviously I think it's a huge aspect in terms of getting people into it, especially the first couple sets. Because obviously you don't want to tell someone, hey, yeah, buy a Star Wars box. Oh, yeah, man, how much is it? <laughs> oh, shit, what? <laughs> I got a fork over 400 bucks. So most people aren't going to be willing to do that. So I think it's good that they got a handle on it before. Oh, and I did get some pre-release stuff, but I d unfortunately did get it from a different vendor. So I have to wait. But hey, this box was insane, though. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm opening another. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I may do another video, but I don't know. I'll see. But this box was just insane. Did I? How many legendaries did, did I only get one? Oh, so. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, there's two, I guess. Okay, all three of these. Okay, so this is one of those like flesh and blood where this type of foil you only get. I think it's three. You get three F and I got all three commons. Yikes. And then I got, did I seriously? No way did I get two legendaries. I mean, I got the hype, the showcase one, so. Uh, I guess I don't care, but I mean, damn. <laughs> Wait, look at that. It's Kylo Ren. That's crazy. I've never seen him. That's, he actually looks cool. I love his lightsaber, dude. It's so cool. That's what I'm saying. The Sith have so unique lightsabers. Darth Maul has his double one. And they actually incorporate it. That's what's cool. They can actually incorporate it like, into the fight. Like how he kills Qui-Gon Jinn. That's actually sick, man. Like, versus just the, you know, obviously, hey, no hit towards it. I think I even have a standard lightsaber, actually, like, in my room. But bought from, like, Disney. It's not a, <laughs> it's official one, relax. It's not a fake one. Yeah, what the hell? Did I seriously go? <laughs> Dude, that's insane. What are these pull rates? What the? Like, imagine I hadn't gotten that, the showcase one. This would have been a horrible box. Oh, man. I would have been pissed. Yeah, two, the home one, the one I remember. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I only got two legendaries. Whoa. I actually wonder how much they're going for then. Well, hopefully, because I know obviously Darth Vader, that's the only one I saw. And it was like 50 bucks, but I just assumed because it was Darth Vader. Because, I mean, everyone, obviously everyone's going to want him. And obviously I didn't get Darth Vader. I mean, that kind of sucks, but hey, you can't win them all. I did get a showcase card, so... It is what it is sometimes. Here, let me show it again, just in case. Let me get that. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard. To, man, I can't believe I only got <laughs> two legendaries. Yeah, hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, the game does good. Obviously, Disney is going to be the first time I think they're handling TCGs in general. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they approach it. Obviously, how they reacted with the Ravensburger situation is kind of good. Like, they, I don't know if they told them or what happened, but... Ravensburger definitely stepped up to the plate and they printed the fuck out of the second set. And now a Lord Khan is available at pretty much MSRP. So obviously it's good that they didn't even have to go through that. So hopefully hey, they don't have to go through that awkward state Lord, Lord Khan had to go through and they can just go straight into the acquiring players phase. All right, we go. All right, let's do top five. So we got aggression number one. You already know I had to put a Sith as number one and it had to be Kylo. Because I didn't get Darth Vader or General Grievous. I don't think he's even on it. Or I didn't get any Luke Skywalker or Yoda cards. So that kind of sucks. But hey, I, at least I got Kylo Ren, I guess. Then we got General Thorn. Look at that. And I already showcased it. So hey, cool card. Look at 
uh, that Death Star, not Death Star card, because you already know that Death Star is going to be a legendary card. So, the, Or if it's not on this one, it's going to be on the next one. So they can name it then. So we got that Galactic Ambition. Very nice. We got the Seventh Sister, another one of the Sith, you already know, with that sick-ass double, uh, kind of like Darth Maul, actually, and I like the little ring. And it's a foil, too, as well. Then we got Lando. Because you got a trivia land, of course. And I think that's the only other one. I don't think I got a hand solo card either. Or a Leia. So I guess I have to contribute to one of the classic characters. Shit. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Not that great of an opening at the end, but that showcase card kind of carried the whole thing. But hey, hopefully you still enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you around. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you.